my name is Jessie Ace. I'm part of a group of enabled warriors that you've probably never heard of. We're fighting back against our invisible illness and taking the dis out of disability. We don't give sympathy to our symptoms. They enable us to be the warrior that we are. If you asked doctors and nurses, they'd say what we're doing is impossible. But pushing the limits of our conditions is something that we have to break through every single day. We push the limits. We are mentally strong. We can do anything. The question is, how far can we push those limits? This podcast will give you the answers. I'm Jessie Ace, and this is the Disabled to Enable podcast. Welcome back to part three. We are here with today's guest to find out their super quick secrets that, to be honest, never really that quick, are they? We like to have a chat about them. Okay, Enabled Warriors, we've talked about some heavy stuff in some previous episodes, so let's have a little bit of fun and show what is still possible after a diagnosis or accident. This is the part of the show where we find out a little bit more about the personality of our guest with some not so super quick (laughs) secrets. Are you ready for this? Okay, Natalie, what is the most inspiring book that you've ever read? So I love this question because I am an avid reader and I'm going to put reader in air quotes again because Audible is my favorite thing in the whole world. And I love going on my morning walks and listening to a book and I love reading. I really do, but I don't find myself doing it often because like I said, I pack my schedule and so like (laughs) to sit down and read a book, I don't end up doing it often, but I do listen to a book every single day, like most of the day when I'm washing dishes, when I'm walking. So um, the first one that came to mind before looking back at like my Audible library was Fat to Fuel by Dr. Mercola. And I wouldn't say this one was an inspiring book, but this book changed my life. So this was the book that um, talked about keto for the health and and how people have cured themselves from cancer through keto and mm. how it works and why it works. And it's very sciencey. But if it wasn't for this book, I wouldn't be where I was. I wouldn't where I am. <laughs> I wouldn't have had my business. I wouldn't have found the power to look into holistic practices. Like it really did just change the direction of my life. Um, and then most inspiring book, I think the book that pushed me the most, and it's funny because I don't even really like this person that much. (laughs) Like he annoys me. I tried following him on Instagram and I don't love it, but the book really pumped me up and it's called Be Obsessed or Be Average by, um, Grant Cardone. And it really just gave me this like male, um, I don't know, male, like, power, I guess, <laughs> like that side of my personality. And I was like, heck yeah, I can do this. <laughs> I love so, that. That's the yeah. best kind of book. But yeah, Grant Cardo and I agree. It's just kind of like, you got to 10x everything. you got to 10x everything. Yeah, exactly. 10X it. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm so tired. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it once. I'm 10. Oh my God. Yeah. But, but this book actually was just like more, not as much as the 10x one, because I didn't love that one either. It was like, you know, be obsessed with what you love. And yes. Yeah, so it really helped. <laughs> I love that. That's great. I'm gonna, totally going to check that out. What I really love is his wife's podcast. Oh, it's all about like women in business. It's all about empowering women in business. It's like, yes, that is that. Is That's t- cool. I've never even. Yeah, I need to look yeah. into that. She's totally nice as well. I'm sure Grant's <laughs> nice, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, he, he I do. kind of comes off as a bit of like, oh god, he's, he, he, he'd really annoy me. <laughs> he really is annoying, especially on Instagram and stuff. And like, watch, I'm like, no, I can't do you. I <laughs> unfollowed. <laughs> Oh gosh, there's another marketer that I was following the other day and he actually does parody videos of all these like top business yeah. marketers and his, 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 <laughs> his one with Grant Cardone is so funny. You have to check it out. I'll have to send you a link to it because it's just yeah, hilarious. Please. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, okay, what is the weirdest thing that you've ever done? So Jesse gives us some of these questions in advance and this one, like I, I left it blank because I was like, I don't know. I'm not that weird, but I am weird. And so I was just thinking about it and I think it's not the weirdest thing I've ever done, but I'd say the weirdest thing about me is I am terrified, like terrified of cats. Okay. <laughs> I have a few incidents while traveling um, of like uh, feral, feral cats. Is that the word? Feral? Feral? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Feral well, cats. in Israel and, and in Greece and in places like that, they have a lot of stray cats, like versus, you know, like 
I don't know, stray dogs and stuff. And I've had some really scary incidences. So I'm terrified of cats, but my favorite thing in the world is Hello Kitty. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) So like I have a whole collection of Hello Kitty stuff and I always say like more sophisticated Hello Kitty stuff. So like not like plastic toys, but I have like I don't know, I have everything. <laughs> Hello Kitty. I have like a box no, of it and I love so it. Cute. Yeah. So it's probably the weirdest thing about me. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I, I really like that. Um uh, maybe not so much like being scared of the cats. Like I, I totally get the fear around cats though. I'm not really so, a cat person just because uh, I think you can't trust them. You, know? you can't, and they don't like you. <laughs> I mean some like, of them like draw do. you in and like, yeah, yeah. fuss me, and then you get there and you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then like good. And then a dog is just going to cuddle you and kiss you and love you. And a cat's like, <laughs> pick up my poop. <laughs> exactly. They just swan in, scuff yeah. all the food and then bother off out again. Like, I don't think so. That's not my kind of animal. I'm sorry to all the cat people listening. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay, jokes. I am. I love you all. <laughs> but dogs are so much better. I agree. <laughs> Okay, what, what is the most amazing place that you've ever visited? So um, in university, I did a lot of traveling. For one year, I studied in Israel. Another year, I studied in Poland. And that year, Ooh. I did a lot of backpacking. There was like 24 countries I saw in four months or something. So that was amazing. But I think the ones that I have the best memories are, um, I did a Kentucky tour, which is like, I get like a I'm sure. Do you know what it is or no? No. No. <laughs> no so idea. it's like it started, I'm pretty sure, in the UK and then went like through a bunch of different countries. But it's like a bus tour for people like around their 30s and 20s. Cool. And okay. So you meet a bunch of people and you're on a bus and you go through a bunch of countries. And a part of that tour was three or four days in Greece where we were sailing and we all had our own like sailboats and you had five people on one boat. That was unreal we would stop like in the middle of the ocean and go swimming and then visit different islands and it was so cool and then um Israel was amazing as well like not nothing I would have ever thought of those are two places I'd love to go back to maybe once all this craziness is done (laughs) yes we'll have a baby to take with you I know yeah let's go on a Kentucky tour yeah Oh, you're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, what is the scariest thing that you've ever done? So this is funny because I'm an adrenaline junkie. So I've gone skydiving, sky gliding, flyboarding, scuba diving, parasailing, oh um, anything you can think of, you know, bungee jumping kind of. It was like a sling versus a straight fall. But um, those things don't really scare me. Those are like the funnest things ever. I think um, – the hospital is the scariest thing I've ever done is staying there (laughs) for weeks and you know like dealing with my health and I don't know if that's what's helped me enjoy these things in life like skydiving and stuff like that and because like you know we only get to live once and really what are the odds of something happening (laughs) that's how I see it (laughs) so for me the scariest thing is my illness is my health and and like having to make those decisions and stuff like that but yeah I get that though and it yeah. sounds weird, but I totally get that. And I think it's because when you're in hospital, you, you kind of, you don't always get told what's going on. People just kind of turn up and like shove it. you're usually stuff like drugged that. up, so you can't even yeah, remember. Yeah. <laughs> or like they wheel you off somewhere and you're like, where am I going? And they're just, oh, I'll just take you for a scan. And they're just like, Whoa. And they wake you up at three in the morning to take your blood. And like, Yes. <laughs> I got woken up at midnight to do physio. I was like, do you really think I want to do physio right now? <laughs> right. On. And there's noises and sometimes oh. people screaming and it's just so yes. overwhelming and a lot. And Oh my. Yeah. Exactly. I've even like traveled through Europe by myself and it wasn't scary. It was empowering. So wow. yeah. <laughs> like put an IV in me and I'll have a panic attack. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> At least I guess with skydiving, like most often you're strapped to someone else, right? So yeah. you, like, you kind of know what's going to happen. They've done it before. It's like totally cool. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, from that side, I get that. I get that. I get that. <laughs> awesome, Natalie. So where can the warriors find out more about you and what you do? So right now I'm kind of on a little hiatus with everything because I am having a baby like in a week or two. <laughs> 
I mean, we can let you off for that, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I am always sharing my journey. I share everything on Instagram. It's like my safe space. So if you want to join my community there, my Instagram's just for like F O R period the T H E period health H E A L T H. Um, and everything's on there. I do have a uh, website, but it hasn't been upgraded for a while. <laughs> it's www.forthehealth.ca, but my email and everything is there. And I love when people reach out even through DMs or emails just to tell me that like they have Crohn's and, and I, you know, helped in one way or another just to say hello. It's yeah. <laughs> it means everything. Isn't it? it really it's does. It's the nicest thing to yeah. know that you've helped someone that day. is just like the best. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So Warriors listening, those will be in the show notes. Those links will be in the show notes. So go and check out Natalie, go and follow her and find out her new hair color because it is stunning that she hates. <laughs> <laughs> it will be better in a day or two. So <laughs> you should keep it. I like it. Uh-huh. Okay, Warriors listening, if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to win $100, then leave a review for us on Apple Podcasts and tell us what you like best about the episode. We will choose one review at random each month to win $100. And after you've left your review, remember, click that subscribe button. And remember, Warriors, stay enabled. See you later, Natalie. Bye. Bye. Enabled Warriors, do you want to win a copy of the Enabled Warrior Symptom Tracker book for free? The Symptom Tracker book will allow you to track your symptoms, instantly spot triggers, and get the best care possible from your doctors. Dr. Gretchen Hawley from the MSing Link said, it was brilliant for those with chronic illnesses to give their doctors more accurate information. Recording these nuggets of information can be a game changer in receiving the best care for you and your symptoms. Inside the book, you'll find everything that you need to live your best life with chronic illness. Have you ever sat in an appointment and couldn't recall when your symptoms started, how long they lasted, the date of your first relapse, how long you've been on medication. Oh, me too. It's so annoying. That's why I made these pages in the book to help with this. Do you want to find out what foods are triggering your symptoms? Great. That's in the book too. Do you wish that you could wake up feeling positive and energetic every single day? The daily sheets in this book will help you do just that. Enter the giveaway by going to www.mybookgiveaway.com and enter your details through the message on Facebook Messenger that will pop up. If you are impatient and you want one now, then go get your Enabled Warrior Tracker book from www.enabledwarriors.org slash book. Both of the links are in the show notes, so go and click them there. And get in control of your chronic illness today and start living the life you deserve. Stay Enabled Warriors. Now let's get back to our guest. Are you ready to fight back against your chronic illness and go from being disabled to enabled? Do you want to be an enabled warrior? Someone who's brave, strong and confident and someone who's ready to find a way to achieve awesome things despite a diagnosis. This is your invitation. Check out disabledtoenabled.com for articles and reviews to find out how you can become enabled too. Subscribe to the podcast to always be in the know. If you think this podcast is better than sleeping in on a Sunday, tickle that subscribe or follow button wherever you're listening. And make sure to share this episode with someone who needs some inspiration. Want to ask your questions to future guests? Make sure to join our Enabled Warriors tribe on Facebook and look out for our question posts. Before we go, check out Disabled to Enabled on Instagram for posts that tell it like it is. And remember, Warriors, stay enabled.